the New England Patriots have only reached the playoffs once in the four seasons without Tom Brady. Is it time for the Patriots to move on from head coach Bill Belichick? Maybe it's time for Bill Belichick to move on from the Patriots. <laughs> and, I, and I think there's so much uh, abuse being heaped upon this legendary coach who's been as good as there's ever been for the last 24 years, good point. Uh, the last couple of years notwithstanding. Um, maybe the better way to look at this instead of uh, hey, in New England, let's hate Bill Belichick now. Let's divorce Bill Belichick. Let's dump him. Maybe they should divorce each other. Mm, uh, 24 years. Split. Right. Um, with as little animosity as possible. Uh, and then the Patriots have to rebuild. Now, maybe they rebuild with a really high draft pick. Mm -hmm. Uh, and maybe they rebuild with Bill Belichick going and coaching somewhere else against them, which I don't think they would enjoy. <laughs> maybe Bill Belichick goes into something else altogether. He could certainly work in somebody's front office if he wanted to do that. He could work as a consultant at age 71. There was even speculation that he could go on TV. That could be so interesting. It, it could be so <laughs> interesting and so insightful or so magnificently boring. Yeah. Uh, because, of course, a lot of what he does in his press conferences is, is be boring on purpose. Every once in a while, though, he'll he'll decide he wants to do a five-minute analysis of right. the long snapper or the five-minute analysis of the history of the <laughs> Dallas Cowboys or whatever. Uh, and so, obviously, he's loaded with insight. But right now, he is not loaded with answers when it comes to how to get the Patriots back on the winning side. Mm -hmm. One of the craziest things that has happened this NFL season came in week one when New York Jets quarterback Aaron Rodgers goes down with the Achilles injury. Now, most doctors say this is a recovery time that is going to be a while for a man who is 40 years old. Yes. But Aaron Rodgers has recently said he feels like he might be able to rehab in time for the end of this season. Yeah. 40 the, years old, what do you make of that? The smart speculation is that it would be next year for Aaron Rodgers where he comes back to the Jets and to the AFC East and gives them a chance to threaten the Bills, which didn't happen this year. Gives them a chance to threaten the Dolphins, which didn't happen this year. Two teams that are obviously powers in the AFC, something the Jets simply have not been. So in part then why would Rodgers say this? Why would he give hope to the Jets community? Uh, I will argue, and I have some fun poking fun at Aaron Rodgers. I really do believe he loves the drama of it all. Ah, okay. Um, or maybe he really feels like, you know what? If I take enough mushroom herbs. Or whatever. Or whatever. Yeah. Maybe I can make it back. Um, yeah, if I, if I, <laughs> right, that's right. If I heal, if, if I rub enough herbs on my right. foot. Um, he also, obviously, he's one of the greatest of all time. Yeah. And a professional athlete is almost predisposed to think, well, of course I'm coming back, and of course I'm going to beat the timetable, and I'm going to be competitive with what the doctor said to me. Right. There's probably not much reason for the Jets. If he was healthy mm -hmm. for week 16, <laughs> it would make no sense, really, outside of ticket sales for Aaron Rodgers to get involved on the field. And so, one way or the other, Aaron Rodgers will stay involved in other things. Yeah. For instance, his uh, latest offering, he wants to have a vaccination debate oh, yeah. with Travis Kelsey wants to involve JFK Jr. and Dr. Fauci in the big debate. Um, and, and this is the poking fun, no pun intended. This is the needling of, no pun intended, <laughs> Aaron Rodgers. I, I don't think he would really want to do that. I think he just likes talking about it. Mm -hmm. I think he likes being talked about. And with no football to occupy him right now, he, he's almost surely bored out of his mind. By the way, a mind that he wants you to know is very, very fertile. It's a very, very fertile mind. Yeah. But the idea that JFK Jr., who I think is in the middle of maybe getting ready to run for president, <laughs> that he wants to get in a debate with football people yeah. um, about an issue that frankly is kind of years and years old yeah, now. A old. Uh, the idea that Travis Kelsey, who's a little busy, yeah. and I'm not talking about with his girlfriend Taylor <laughs> Swift, he's a little busy yeah. to want to take off a week so he can prepare for a national debate on a subject that he probably doesn't know very much about, <laughs> really. And then, of course, there's one more wrinkle and the irony with Aaron Rodgers, who called Travis Kelsey, Mr. Pfizer, mm -hmm. um, you're aware, I know. Are you aware who employs Aaron Rodgers? The owners of the New York Jets are Johnson & Johnson, <laughs> the drug company. Mm -hmm. Or maybe, maybe they just do baby powder. But the last <laughs> time I looked, it was a drug company. So uh, Aaron Rodgers is highly entertaining, frankly, as long as you don't take it too seriously. That's my, that's my poke. That's my needle, that's my jab 
at Aaron Rodgers. And to be clear, I think that mushroom herbs are highly powerful. So we will see if he will come back from that Achilles tear this season. <laughs> All right, Minnesota Vikings quarterback, Kirk Cousins. This is the most recent rumor in the NFL. Kirk Cousins to be traded? Is this an actual possibility? And if so, maybe this is just a rumor. But yeah. if we could just get the rumor rolling, what team would be a good team for him to go? Yeah, to? who needs a who who has a problem at quarterback mm -hmm. where where he who has some problems at quarterback. Yeah. Uh and he's not that young. Uh right. He's not he's not the right age. He's not the right salary. Um I, I do think that if if this was a serious issue, the Atlanta Falcons mm -hmm. would say, Okay, Desmond Ritter, is he is he there? Is he almost there? Is he gonna get us there? Uh and the Atlanta Falcons have reason in their division to think, listen, we can win this thing. <laughs> right. um, in Washington, they have a great deal of belief in Sam Howell. Um, obviously, Kirk Cousins already played for Washington, and I don't think the two of them want to reunite. And by the way, in Washington, uh, whoever plays quarterback, if the offensive line oh. uh, allows defenses to turn him upside down on his head, uh, five and seven, it's not going to matter who plays quarterback there. Speaking of beating a quarterback. Though. Yeah. Um, the, the, one of the biggest issues, obviously, in Minnesota with with him is they thought of themselves, they were a playoff team last year, and they thought of themselves as a contender. Um, what, of course, has happened this year is they're not able to make that game-winning play at the end of the year. They did it time and time again yeah. last year. So, Especially during their winning streak. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I just, when I'm surveying the landscape, I, I don't see much of a match for a team that is a good quarterback away, um, who already has a bad quarterback where Cousins would make a great improvement and then the money involved too. So mm -hmm. that, that marriage, that Kirk Cousins marriage in Minnesota, that may stay put for a while. Mm -hmm. The Dallas Cowboys value keeps climbing up and up and up every year. They continue to be the tip top of all of the sports franchises when it comes to value. Do you think Jerry Jones will ever sell the Cowboys? He has said, I will never sell. <laughs> um, and he makes the point that I didn't get in this for the money. Now, the, the cynic will say, well, it looks to me like you did. You turned a $150 million investment into a $9 billion. But it's true. $9 billion is quite a bit. Right. Uh, he also gets made fun of by people that don't fully understand when he says, I scrapped together that $150 million. Right. And I understand why people, what do you mean you scrapped? You, you, you were rich, right? Yeah. But he still borrowed against himself mm -hmm. to come up with 150 million. It, so he wasn't looking through seat cushions for quarters, <laughs> but he was looking for seat cushions for thousand no, dollar bills and yeah. million. Yeah, yeah, he absolutely was. And he mortgaged everything he had mm -hmm. in order to make this investment. Um, my, my old story, and I and he's told me this a number of times, and I like to tell it here about Jerry Jones. Mm -hmm. I've asked him. This goes way back, but it still lives today. Are you a sportsman yeah. or a businessman? Sportsman, of course, I just want to win Super Bowls. Businessman, I, I, I want to make a profit. Yeah. And he says, Mr. Mack, I couldn't look myself in the mirror yep. as a sportsman if I wasn't trying to win as a businessman. And I couldn't, and it was just good. And then he had a little pause and he says, but I couldn't look at myself in the mirror just between us girls as a businessman. <laughs> if I wasn't trying to win as a sportsman. So the, the best Jones impression this side of the Mississippi. It's the best worst, <laughs> Jones, which is what makes it so good. It's so terrible. Yeah. That's that's the naked Jerry Jones truth. The answer is both. Yeah. Um, he, he Would he spend, um, if there wasn't a salary cap, would he spend more money than anybody else in football to have a winning team? Oh, I don't think there's any question about that. Would he also want to make sure that he's selling more t-shirts and pennants and tickets and negotiating TV contracts than anybody in the NFL? He'd want that too. Jerry Jones wants both. <laughs>